I mean, I'm sure every single person saw this news article. I don't know what the deal is. I was getting notifications on my phone. I heard it on the radio. I saw it on TV, on TikTok, YouTube notifications. For some reason, they want every single person on the planet to see that tech mogul Brian Johnson, 45 years old, spends $2 million per year to get 18-year-old body. Now, what struck me as odd was his name Brian Johnson that's actually Liver King's real name Brian Johnson which is an unusual coincidence unusual coincidence huh what's the uh what's the agenda behind this though why do they want so many people to know that this clown spends all this money <laughs> and guys his goal is to eventually have all of his major organs including his brain, liver, kidneys, teeth, skin, hair, penis, and rectum <laughs> functioning as they were in his late teens, Johnson said. I don't know. That sounds like some uh, Costa Rican rat boy activities. Maybe he wants to uh, join the Central American little boy party. I don't know. That's what it sounds like. But he went from looking like, uh, I don't know, some average tech geek, I guess, to... Uh, kind of flamboyant weirdo evil villain superman kind of looking guy so i mean this is obviously a lot of cosmetic surgery <laughs> the hairline is kind of cartoonish uh but let's actually watch uh this video on the view and uh hopefully it doesn't get copyrighted otherwise we'll be um we'll be redoing this i guess a 45-year-old tech mogul is taking the obsession over turning back the clock to a whole new level He's spending $2 million a year enlisting a team of 30 doctors to bring his body back. Ooh, wait. To his... To do what? He's yeah, I mean, spending he looks like some creepy old gay fashion dude. Money to bring his too much body surgery. back to being an 18-year-old body. Why are you holding your breast? <laughs> I'm holding my self in check <laughs> so that I read the story yeah. and that I don't make any kind of judgment call <laughs> for this fool spending two million dollars <laughs> a year with 30 doctors trying to get his 18 year old body back I know, you know? he's and, got wait he, he's hooked up to a machine that counts the number they put of Botox nighttime in every inch erections of his body? <laughs> you know get a life get a life <laughs> Well, well, why get... <laughs> doesn't he have any friends? Apparently, he can't have that many. He's getting younger and younger. You know, the problem with this guy and this whole story about getting younger is that even evil people will be getting younger. So no one's going to ever die. That's not good. We need these bad people to die also. That's one of the good things about death, is that even the, the Gestapos have to die. <laughs> This reminded me of, like, Tom Brady and his, like, and I love Tom Brady. My mom's the biggest fan. But, like, his obsessive diet where you're, like, you're missing out on life. You won't eat a tomato because it's a nightshade. Like, have some pasta. Eat the pizza. He's missing out What's on... What's wrong with a nightshade? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Yo, these girls are talking crap about his diet, yet every single one of them <laughs> at this table probably has a combined value of $2 million worth of makeup on their faces. Literally caked on, just, like some type of mannequin trying to look presentable. I don't he's, a four, he's a 45 year old uh, football player who is on a regimen. Ironically, Whoopi Goldberg kind of looks the best out of all of these girls. At least she's not caked full of makeup. She looks somewhat natural. When these billionaires go into space and everything else, I stop and I say, what you were saying earlier, you know, as you age, you're clearing way for the next group of people to come. <laughs> yeah, bro, there's way more than two million dollars worth of makeup and plastic surgery and crap on these girls at this table, which is ironic to say the least. Turn, it's their turn. And you look at these billionaires and to know we could feed every person on this earth. Yeah. No one, no one would have to go to bed hungry. And so... This obsession oh my god, what a bunch of virtue signaling cops. Fixing our insights. And the irony of this specifically is you're seeking more time when you're not even living the time you've been yes. given. Yes. Yeah. And I find this so vapid stupid. and I think stupid. I'm gonna disagree. You ladies are missing the point. It's pretty clear this guy is a weirdo that likes playing with young boys. Like that's why he's doing it, you know? Three with everyone here. <laughs> I mean, there's this new mice study that came out that said that old mice can grow young again. 
And what they have done is these mice have regained their eyesight. They've developed smarter, younger Maybe brains. Maybe we should have just read the article instead of listening to this. I like blind mice, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> I like blind mice. And I don't. And it's like, as a, I have realized that maybe I'm the only one. Post 50, I can barely read these cards. <laughs> one of the greatest loves of my life is reading. Um, All right, we made it more than halfway through. I consider that a win. All right, you know what? I don't do Audible. audibles as well as, as, as Whoopi does. I, uh, I want my, my eyes back because I got reading glasses in every room. Everyone does. I want, but Lasix I want is my, a little different than 30 doctors doesn't, doesn't on staff. Work, doesn't work for me. I'm not, an, I'm not someone that uh, is eligible for it. I want my joints and my hips back. I want my, I want well, my I knees back. Well, I thought you got everything back. No. <laughs> Didn't you just do I, that? This is just cosmetic. cosmetic. This is cosmetic. This is cosmetic. This well, what do you get, think that's going to I mean, this is really a result of all of the poison and toxins in our food and water supply, as well as the misinformation and people not understanding how to actually become healthy, that you have to remove those toxins, go high quality organic, reduce the EMF radiation. So even, even these people, famous celebrities or whatever on TV don't know that. Middle-aged tech guy says he spends two mil per year to keep 18 year old body. So this was on TMZ. Brian Johnson, he's a 45-year-old tech nerd who has decided that he wants to find the fountain of youth. He pays $2 million a year on something he calls Project Blueprint to try to, like, age in reverse. He looks a little like Dave Asprey, the bulletproof BS scam artist. He wakes up at 5 a.m. He takes two dozen supplements. He has a vegan diet, and then he does high-intensity workouts. This is, this is him after all of that? He does all these things, and now he has the heart of a 37-year-old, skin of a 28-year-old. He looks kind of like Golem from Lord of the Rings, you know? So this... Am I right? A little bit? Yay, nay, kind of? Could be, could be him? in the fitness of an 18 year old. Well, his skin does look so much younger Harvey, than- Harvey, he looks his age. He looks good. He doesn't look two million good. He has a team of 30 doctors. He does monthly vitals. That's a lot of work for a, not a lot of gain. Do you know how old Eric is? We don't need to talk about how old I am. It's older than you think. Just tell me how old you are. I'll be 48 next month. 48? Oh, and he looks amazing. Yeah, he looks so wow. much better. Eric, I thought you were like 35. Eric is six years older than me. Oh, oh my wow. God, if you had oh, advertised. That, you have aged so poorly. I know. It's been a rough go. Derek, what happened to your face? Why are you all cut up? <laughs> Charlie, we married different people. <laughs> right, these people are just bantering, but the most important things for just being youthful and where people go wrong is a lot of the partying and like their college years and their 20s and the poor diet, just all that alcohol every day, liver damage, that's one big factor. And then after you get past your 20s and 30s, if you didn't take care of yourself earlier in life, you know, it's difficult, if not impossible, to kind of catch back up. Made his fortune in his 30s when he sold his payment processing company Braintree Payment Solutions to eBay for 800 million cash. <laughs> uh, so now we got the uh, Superman villain looking dude. I mean, he went from like average weird tech guy to... Dude, you would see in the Equinox gym sauna. That's exactly what happened. Johnson wakes up every morning at 5 a.m., takes two dozen supplement, works out for an hour, drinks green juice laced with creatine and collagen peptides, and brushes and flosses his teeth while rinsing with tea tree oil and antioxidant gel. So that's about like 10 different things that don't actually work. Like you're waking up way too early, definitely not in circadian rhythm getting good sleep. Two dozen supplements, probably stuff he doesn't need. Works out for an hour. Okay, that's fine. Green juice, we've gone over so many times about how vegetables, vegetable juices, all that stuff is not good for you. Did a video years ago on how creatine is bad for your organs and so many videos on how collagen is BS. But these are all things that we know the media has been pushing because there's a lot of products to sell. So I would say that's really the hidden agenda behind this. Whereas glasses that block blue light for two hours, constantly monitors his vital signs and undergoes monthly medical procedures to maintain his health, including ultrasounds, MRIs, colonoscopies, and blood tests. So what that screams to me is high radiation exposure. Blue light glasses are kind of distracting people from the real problem of high EMF, you know, where you should be sleeping in a bed canopy, wearing protective clothing throughout the day. <laughs> While sleeping, Johnson is hooked up to a machine that counts the number. <laughs> Yo, 
this reminds me of that uh, vegan documentary. What the hell was it? The Game Changers where they like put the devices on the guys and then had them eat like bean burritos <laughs> and saw who had the bigger one. <laughs> Yo, that's so ridiculous. Oh my God. This, this is, this is, this is, this is hilarious. This is hilarious, bro. He looks like an, uh, he should be on Lord of the Rings, Rings of Power as one of the weird elf people. Oh, look, he has nice, uh, nice, what color is that? Teal? Teal fingernails. Love it, bro. Johnson is the CEO of Colonel, which manufactures a $50,000 helmet that tracks brain signals. Yeah, going to get real good sleep in that one. Better uh, take out all your blood every month, too. <laughs> I treat athletes and Hollywood celebrities, and no one is pushing the envelope as much as Brian. Jeff Toll, an internist who is part of Johnson's team. Sounds like this guy has more money than he knows what to do with. And doctors are just doctoring, a.k.a. stealing people's money at the expense of the person's health. I mean, dude's in really good shape. Honestly, if he wasn't so pale, he probably wouldn't look that creepy. But, you know, I mean, I'd bet a lot of money that he's probably taking some uh, type of TRT or performance enhancing drugs. Johnson's routine also consists of adhering to a strict vegan diet. So... I mean, this article's probably all fake. This dude's probably like eating carnivore and sleeping in a metal tent. But let's see what people think. Eh, just trash talking about the money and stuff. Oh, we all died. Da, da, da. Yeah. Well, there's my opinion. Kind of weird, you know. Kind of weird. I guess just reinforcing like modern conventional wisdom. Reminding me that all these rich people are a bunch of creepo weirdos. Anyway. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying your weekend and that this brightens up your day a little bit. As always, if you could drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below. Make sure to subscribe and check that notification bell. And if you guys do want to support me further, you can go to frank stefanocom to see Frankie's Strange Meat, all my other businesses where we have a bunch of interesting products. Thanks for joining, guys, and I'll see you soon.